Hi everyone, uh, welcome to today's uh, Rhinoceros 3D quick interface overview. Um, I have named it as lesson one so that um, this is basically for your own understanding to the interface. Uh, this will probably save us a lot of time in our exercises later on, uh, probably when the studio is open up. So uh, I hope that you can take advantage of uh, recognizing where things uh, are in Rhino so that uh, we do not need to go through this all over again when the class starts. All right, so let's get going. And I have put down 10 pointers, basically one to 10. Uh, with the first one saying file new open file let's get going with this one file new um, this is this is file new all right and this is the file that you should have already downloaded so file new let let's just take a quick look file new all right so um, these are your standard templates that Rhino has and um, if you are unsure and probably we'll talk about this uh, if we have enough time so for now we'll just click on no template so when you launch Rhino this is the first thing that you see all right and the file that you have downloaded uh, you can just file open and that's the lesson one okay that's the lesson one all right so we have touch on point one let's uh, work on point two all right, uh, window title, basically it's at your left top. Uh, it says lesson one, and that's the file size that you got. Okay, that's your window title. And sometimes you don't know what file this is being open. So the fastest way to recognize this is your top left corner. So the next one that we will be touching on will be point three. Uh, that's the main menu. That's the pull down menu. So these are the pull down main pull down menu. So you could probably recognize them uh, because it pulls, pulls down all the other commands. All right, uh, the additional ones that I have currently on my interface will be Bongo. These are the additional ones. Uh, I have them working because I use them. Uh, paneling tools, mesh to surface, section tools. Th these are the additional ones that I have. And the last one that you should have on your screen is help. All right, should be panels and then help. Uh, the rest are mine. All right, so let's move on to point four. Uh, command window prompt. Uh, so what uh, I have stated here is number four, which is this area. You could see my mouse cursor highlighting this area. All right, so this is the only place that uh, Rhino would ask you question once your command is selected. Okay, so this this it's your command prompt. Sometimes uh, we'll say just your command area. Or your command window command prompt so th these are commands all right so move on to point five uh, toolbars uh, these are rhino standard toolbars uh, these are the main toolbars that you see here right so if you select it uh, it reflects the collection of uh, commands that is held under the the naming system here okay so it goes all the way to the last one new in version 6 uh, by the way, this is version 6. Uh, if you are using an older Rhino, you probably will still be able to follow through. Uh, but however, I encourage you to upgrade to the latest version, version 6. Alright, so next one that we will be touching on is, uh, yeah, back to toolbars. Um, this is the main, this is the left, uh, left uh, on your left, these are your side toolbars. Okay, so the top area, it's your main and that's your side toolbars. All right, and viewports, uh, point six viewports. Uh, what are viewports? Um, these are your viewports. Um, the screen that you're looking at is a single viewport, which is uh, at perspective. Uh, help me to move your mouse cursor over the word perspective and you double click on it. Double click left button on your mouse and you should see that uh, it turns uh, giving you four viewports option right away okay so perspective double click on perspective again you would have your perspective window uh, single window brought in front of you so double click again and if you want a front view let's pick on front view so these are your viewports all right so these are your viewport titles uh, there's a menu here 
uh, select it uh, there's a small little arrow right here and you could just run them through okay so currently this is at wireframe uh, shaded mode uh, this is your shaded mode you can explore them you can just run them through as I was sharing with you goals I'll talk about the different uh, shading as we progress us in different lessons all right so at least you could um, still run them through if you want okay so now currently I'll just go back to shaded um, I'll double click on the title again the viewport title so you recognize that um, in your perspective there is perspective rendered uh, front view shaded so these are all different ones you can feel free to pick on them and explore them okay and your left your right mouse uh, your right mouse on these 2d views your right mouse it's pen okay you should see a hand popping out if you pick on right mouse okay however in your perspective viewports uh, it's rotate it's rotate and these are pan all right in order to pan at your perspective view you should pick on your keyboard okay keyboard shift key and right mouse together shift and right mouse all right so if you don't feel like picking on a the keyboard there is a shortcut at the uh, toolbar main toolbar which is the hand look right here so the pen view it's here it works for all the the viewports basically all right so i'm just gonna double click on my front view all right back to this uh, single viewports uh, allow us to see a lot clearer so six uh, we talk about viewports uh, where are the tabs the tabs it's uh, just follow my cursor it's right here okay these are the tabs all right so these are the tabs uh, these are quick tabs uh, instead of you popping back to four view top view back to four views and front view so you could just pick on this really quick on a tab okay so these are your viewport tabs how about all snap control and what are all snap control we could um, talk about it in the next lesson but uh, all snap basically it's um, uh, little functions that allows you to pick on uh, snapping points very accurately okay so where are your all snap controls these are right here at the bottom look down on your screen these are at the bottom of it um, I have them pick on uh, these are the last memory uh, selection that I have so Rhino recognize that that I have used that on the last uh, modeling work that I've worked on so um, these are your choices of your selection on all snap right so we have finished all snap control talking about status bar uh, status bar are these guys at the bottom of the the screen all right you have a X uh, C plane your construction plane uh, it explains to you that uh, these are your XYZ uh, if you move your mouse along anywhere these are basically where your reference are all right so and the next thing that you see would be millimeters so this is um, this is working on millimeters uh, we'll talk about uh, units on the later exercises as well and these are your layers uh, these are your default layers okay uh, these are your grid snap auto planner and so forth and so on okay so this area is your status bar it tells you what's going on with uh, some of the things that you turn on and off all right to to help you to work on your rhino so next uh, point nine would be properties panel uh, properties panel would be something of uh, extremely we we would need them okay so move your mouse uh, and you should see a color wheel icon right here it says uh, object properties all right so this is the properties tab uh, panels okay uh, properties panel and these are probably uh, shown uh, to you uh, there will be a lot more um, if you pick on option uh, which is at the gear little gear here 
uh, there is a list of uh, these selections that you can turn off and turn on. So, uh, fake, for example, I do not want so many of them. I basically would require layers. Uh, materials, yeah, I can turn it off. Okay, I'll just need layers and properties for now. All right, so this is uh, what it does. Um, it tells me what I have selected and it reflects to me what I sh can and cannot do. All right, uh, I'm just going to pan this across. And then if I pick on, just a quick example, if I pick on this model, uh, it tells me that I'm at layer head, uh, color display. It tells me information about this guy, okay? And what I can, in terms of I have more selections popping on. So where do I deselect? Um, I can put my mouse on the screen somewhere here and deselect it. So there it, uh, it has no more selection. Okay, so this is the properties panel. So basically I want to move to the last point, uh, save as and file format. So once you are comfortable doing anything, obviously we need to save. File, save as. Uh, lesson 1a let's say okay so uh, the, the the Rhino format would be dot 3dm Rhino 3d modeler okay so this is the format that we have so you could save that as all right so this uh, conclude our very quick overview interface of Rhino so on lesson one I hope you enjoy it thank you